What a what a happy happy day it is here, my fine fine fellows, because uh, Ozzy Osbourne has made a big public appearance at the Commonwealth Games with his longtime chum uh, Tony Iommi, and they played Paranoid, and I think they played Iron Man too. I wanted to read a bit of this story, but there he is. You know, all we've seen of Ozzy, we saw the uh, the new uh, Patient uh, Number Nine video, and you can get down uh, in the comments and tell me what you thought of that new song and stuff, but. Uh, all we've really seen is those kind of weird, creepy-looking photos of him sitting in the passenger seat of uh, of uh, Sh Sharon Osbourne's Prius or something, and and you think, well, how's he doing? What's he doing? What, I mean, is he well? Is he is he uh, is he going to get going again? He's already working on a new album and stuff. So I wanted to look into this. Wanted to read a bit of this story. Then we're going to tune in with Ozzy Osbourne right there and Tony Iommi. And uh, hear a little paranoid and see how he's doing. Does that sound fun? Let's do this. Let's learn a little bit. Watch Ozzy Osbourne and Tony Iommi reunite to play Black Sabbath's classic Paranoid at the closing of the 2022 uh, Commonwealth Games. That's in uh, England, I believe, right? Yes. Black Sabbath singer Ozzy Osbourne and guitarist Tony Iommi reunited earlier today, Monday, August 8th, in the original hometown in their original hometown of Birmingham, England. Jolly old England, that's right. To perform the band's classic song, Paranoid, preceded by a truncated version of Iron Man. What does truncated mean? Please put that in the comments below. I'm not a smart man, Jenny, but I know what love is, okay? At the closing of the city's Commonwealth Games, they were joined by two musicians from the band's final tour, Adam Wakeman, uh, who played bass and keyboards. What other projects was he in? Please get that in the comments below. And drummer Tommy Clifetius. And I want to say he was with uh, Rob Zombie. Yes, no, maybe so. You can get in the comments with that as well. A few years ago, Oz Osborne said that he was open to the possibility of a Sabbath reunion at the Commonwealth Games, telling ITV that it will be fantastic, man, to play at the opening ceremony of the 2022 Games with Black Sabbath or on my own, he said at the time. Late last month, Iomi took part in the Commonwealth Games opening ceremony. Iomi, an, uh, an acclaimed saxophonist, Suito Kinch, led a dream sequence piece titled, Hear My Voice. Hear me, love me. The ceremony took place at uh, Alexander Stadium in front of an audience of more than 30,000, with the event also being broadcast live on the BBC One, an iPlayer to estimate global television audience of one billion. One billion. That's a B, folks. Billion. Headlining the ceremony was the new wave, uh, uh, wave group Duran Duran, with additional appearances by some of the city's most celebrated artists. Uh, was Duran Duran from Birmingham, too? Um, Judas Priest was from there. You can get in the comments below and feed me all the bands and stuff and such that come from the fine, fine place of, I mean, they, some would say it's the birthplace of heavy metal, right? The Black Sabbath. And, uh, earlier that week, Iomi talked to Birmingham World about the pressures of performance for such a large audience. Oh, my, a billion people tuning in is huge figure. He said, it's going to be seen not just across the Commonwealth, but throughout the world. We really have to do Birmingham proud. So let's see how they do. Uh, let's see. Let's check out Aussie. Uh, this just made me, this just tickled me in all my goodie spots when I saw that, old, that the old boy was back up after his surgeries and doing it. Let's go. Lots of fireworks and stuff. I mean, he's got a jump and a bump and a bang about him. You need rock to pacify you, Aussie. Great. Sounding good. What the hell was that? Sound like he was gonna do one of his trademark. Come on! Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't do a come on there. Smash! 
smiling, happy, bouncing. That's the Oscar you want to see. What's this guy? What's going on here? It's the devil's music. This guy goes, that's right. It's the devil's music. I love it. I love the devil's music. Martha, Martha, I'm taking the child out to the car. He's scared by the... It's the devil. It's the devil music. You still got that great? Oh, a lot of clapping people. Hope he keeps that gray. I like that gray in his in his muffin top. I mean, you can hear the claps though, right? You can just hear. Nice. Yeah, you, you can hear the claps in there. Yeah, there he is. They just they they miss. See, at first there, I thought for a second there might be some kind of a, and we will not, we will not say lip sync to Ozzy Osbourne. We will not do that. We will not demean him in any way. But I think what they did was they just, they was, they was cutting the mic because right there he was clearly live. So when he did that, come on, they, they muted his mic for whatever feedback reasons or whatever. I don't know, but he was clearly live right there. It's good to be back. Clap your hands. Oh, I, I owe me. Oh, I love the guy. He's sounding great. What say you get in the comments below and tell me what you thought of that? Were you there at the Commonwealth Games? What do you think of the the new song that Ozzy Osbourne put out? What do you think about the new album that he's going to be doing? Is Zach, Zach Wilde and all the folks going to be back in the band? I know that last album, he had like a producer crew of people come in. You had Guns N' Roses, uh, Duff McKagan and all of them come in and and, uh, and do the bit. So get in the comments below and tell me what you thought of that. Dink, wink. Make a joke and I will sigh and you will laugh and I will cry. Happiness I can conceal. Making love to you is so unreal.